Now our consumer watchdog and a story causing a sensation. A mother from West Virginia was harassed by debt collectors, even though she had no debt. She decided to do something extraordinary, track down the shadowy bullies, sue them, and she won a staggering judgment of $10 million. She spoke exclusively to ABC's Elizabeth Leamy. Sir, we'd love a chance to talk to you about the lawsuit. These debt collectors... Any comments? ...didn't want to talk to us about the largest judgment ever against a collection company. You gotta leave. Ten million eighty-six thousand dollars. I like the news, but... They didn't say anything. And this woman is the reason. Diana May is the one who sued the collection company called RFA. I'm a mom and I'm a housewife and I'm an accidental activist. First, an RFA debt collector threatened to seize her house over a debt that wasn't even hers. I'm calling in regards to a preliminary asset liability investigation. Then she received this call. I want to make sure that uh, you like being Threats so vulgar, we can't air them. I felt that I had been a, a victim of a verbal sexual assault. Diana was the worst possible person to target because she has taped her calls ever since tangling with an aggressive telemarketer years ago. Talk a little bit more so we have plenty of your voice on tape. It was that tape that convinced a judge to award her that historic sum. But Diana hasn't seen a dime. One review calculated as many as 80% of court judgments go unpaid. Are they going to pay up or is she going to have to hire a collector? RFA admits making the first collection call but denies making the obscene call and says it considers the $10 million judgment unfair. You didn't show up in court to answer that lawsuit so we thought you might like to respond now. I'm responding now. Okay. Diana is now suing the company owners individually to collect from the collectors. Elizabeth Leamy, ABC News, Orange County, California.